Hi, this is Bilal from Speckle. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to conditional formatting for 3D Viewer Visual. If you know how conditional formatting works for other Power BI visuals, then you don't have to watch this video because the process is pretty much the same. Let me quickly introduce you to the model that I'm going to use. I created this uh, panel simple tower model in Rhino and the colors you are currently seeing are the materials of each panel. And what I also did is I edit these two attributes, area and Z coordinates for the panels. And what I want to do is I want to color the 3D viewer visual by the Z coordinates and by their area using conditional formatting. All right. But before we do that, uh, we need to make a slight adjustment within Power Query. So I'm going to click on Transform Data to open Power Query. So what I did is I extracted the area and the attributes from the received data, right? But currently their data type is set to any. So they are not, you know, known by Power BI as decimal numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two columns and then get into the Transform tab and change their data type from any to decimal number. Perfect. Now they are decimal numbers and let's click on close and apply and load it back to Power BI. Okay, perfect. So let's select the 3D Viewer Visual and to activate the conditional formatting dialog, simply switch to format your visual uh, option from the visualization pane, right? And in here under the visual settings, there is an object display option. Let's click on that. And here we can change the context display from ghosted to hidden. And also we have this FX button right here, which is what we want to click in this case for conditional formatting. So once you do that, this dialog will open. In this case, we are interested in coloring our elements by the value, by some mathematical values, right? And it fits better for format style to be the gradient style. So we can see the color change. Right, so I'm going to switch to gradient, and that's what I'm going to cover in this video. So, what field should we want to base our colors? We want to base by their Z coordinates first, right? So let's click on this and expand the pavilion and select the Z coordinate from here. Summarization sum, and how should we format empty values? I want to format them as zero. If you want, you can set it to don't format, or you can assign a specific color to empty values. In my case, I don't have any empty values. So for the colors, I can set the lowest value to light blue. And for the maximum, I can set it to maybe dark red. And if you want, you can also add a middle color and you can set it to maybe something like this, light yellow. And let's click on OK. And once you do that, the tower will color elements based on their Z coordinates. Right. And in this case, as you can see, the ones with the highest Z coordinate are colored red. And then we have that transition right there to mid, which is light yellow. And then the ones with the lowest Z value are colored as light blue. Perfect. It's working, right? If we want, we can modify the colors and let's click on the effects button again and change the highest value from maybe red to purple and click on OK. And just like that, it updated. And you can also change your parameter from maybe the Z coordinate to maybe let's click on area and click on OK. Now they are colored by their areas. Actually, let me recolor the highest value to red so we can see the biggest panel in our visual. Like these guys are the biggest ones. And I can see that this one has the lowest uh, you know, area uh, parameter for the panel areas. Right, so this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this feature is useful for you. If you have any feedback or a question, speckle.community, our forum is the best place. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.